All right, in this video I'm going to show you a nice little transmitter I put together and how it works. I simply plug this into any music player. I can plug it into my laptop and it will transmit music to a nearby radio. Now the sound quality is excellent. Uh, the range is not too, too far. It's maybe a hundred feet away, which is sufficient for this small transmitter. The current draw is only around 15 milliamps, and that includes the one and a half milliamps for the power indicator LED. It has a power switch on. It has the LED power indicator. As you can see, the whole circuit fits nicely into this little Radio Shack housing right here. Now, the coil, what I did for stability is the 9-volt power supply feeds into a Zener regulator circuit before it powers the entire circuit. So I have a 100-ohm resistor feeding into a 6.2-volt Zener diode. So the whole circuit has stable voltage, which helps prevent frequency drifting and also to help prevent frequency drift. I don't know if it's, it's going to be hard to see, but you can see the coil inside right over here. What I did is when I wound the coil, I slid it over a vinyl tube. That's a quarter inch vinyl tube, and the coil is wrapped around it tightly. And what I did is I glued one end of the coil with the good old E6000. The other side of the coil was left not glued, so I could slide it inward with a little plastic screwdriver or outward to adjust the frequency. Now, I didn't want to have a trimmer capacitor in here, so I chose the proper size picofarad capacitor for the tank circuit with the coil. And once I established the right size, I fine-tuned it just by sliding with the plastic screwdriver the coil. And then once that's done, I can maybe put a little dab of glue to keep it from moving. Now, it's not going to be perfect like a crystal-controlled but it'll be pretty close to the frequency and you should have very little, if any, drift. The antenna, rather than have the antenna sticking out, I came up with it and I just wrapped it straight lead around the perimeter of the housing with lid goes on. So you can see the wire around the edge. And it works well. I mean, you'll have more range if you let the wire stick out or if you put in a telescopic antenna that tilts up and you could let pull it out. But to me, I'd rather have up to a hundred foot range and have it nice and compact with no antenna sticking out. So I just wrapped it around and it seems to work very well. Now, this is not a circuit you're going to carry around your pocket and transmit with. You just place it down, but you can also, while it's operating to a degree, you could pick this up and then you could change stations and you could even pick this up and move it around and usually it won't affect the frequency if I pick it up and move it around. If I grab it like this and stop playing with it, then yeah, it will do something. But for all practical purposes, you could pick up your music player when it's plugged in, and then you could just start flipping through your music and choose what you want to hear. Now, both the left and the right outputs of the stereo are combined into one channel. That's how this works. Both of them are combined into one, and even though it's no longer stereo, the sound quality is still very good. If you're looking for a, a trans... Now, this transmitter is good, so give it a shot. But if you're looking for a transmitter that's going to lock onto a frequency, you may want to check out under my video list the Crystal Controlled FM transmitter. You can remove the microphone from that circuit, and then you can install a couple of resistors, and then you could feed in the audio into that circuit. So it's easy to modify the other circuit to go from a microphone to having an input like this. But this one's fine for me. I will put the link to this circuit in the video description box and you can give it a try. I'll demonstrate now the sound quality. Alright, the music player is on and you can see frequencies around 96, 97, 106, 96, 97, that area. So I'm going to go turn on the radio and you're going to listen to it. Okay, the transmitter is on, connected to the music player. I'm now going to go about 50 feet away into a van and turn on the radio and you should hear the music. Okay, there we go. What are we on? 
1067 have a set for. All right, and this is the schematic. I'll post a link for the schematic in the video description box. I don't know where the schematic came from, but I modified it a little bit. I removed the microphone with the 47K, and I added these two 82K resistors, one from the left and one from the right for the audio input. I also added this 250K. The purpose of this is if the output on the radio is garbled, that's because there's too much power going in. So you're going to want to turn that higher, more towards the 200, 250. And I reduced this to a 22N, which is a 223 capacitor. I also added a 6.2 volt Zener voltage regulator to maintain 6.2 volts to help with stability. This transistor is just a 2N3904. This is a 2N2222A. You can use an MPSH10. The emitter resistor could be anything between 220 to 330 ohms. Now the capacitor ideally should be an NPO. It doesn't have to be. The NPOs are really good with temperature, so that it shouldn't cause the value of the capacitor to change too much if you use an NPO. That's a 7-turn coil on a 5 16th form, and then I wrapped it around the vinyl tubing. 440 is the trimmer capacitor. I eliminated that, and I just put a, I think I have a 12, 12 picofarad there. And that's about it. The circuit works very well. It's as well as you can get without using a crystal locked or a PLL one. And I haven't experienced really any problems with it. I was thinking about adding another... 12 and 152 from the base down, but it works fine the way it is, so I'm not going to touch it. Just use quality components, keep your leads as short as possible, and if you want extra stability, instead of having the antenna come off the collector with the capacitor, you can just solder the antenna to the coil. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, rate it a thumbs up, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Thank you.